Hey, family. It's Ezra. <clears throat> Hope everyone is doing well. You know, I'm trying to get used to this exposing myself. As most, if not all of you know, I tend to avoid this. I tend to avoid trying to talk in public and let people see me missing and it doesn't matter to me because I think it's most important is to become a better man, a better human being. And I've done my best. I'm doing my best. And I've gotten to a certain space where I feel like it's worth having conversations now. Today, I want to talk to you about something deeply personal and incredibly important to me. The brevity of life and its immense value of expressing love, appreciation, and gratitude. I'm trying not to get emotional here, so uh, excuse me if I do. Recently, I reconnected with my, uh, my parents, my mother, and my, my pops. It's been 10 years since I've had a conversation with either one of them, 10 years. I felt it was time for us to connect. I was ready. I am ready. And I'm sure they're ready. Timing is right. My mother reached out to me for Father's Day, saying Happy Father's Day, and kind of went from there. My father and I, <clears throat> my dad, we got together, we got together. He's a huge man of God. He's a pastor. You never stop being a pastor. You never retire. That's who he is. My father and I experienced a series of profound spiritual moments. Profound. I've been going through it this entire year. It's been an amazing, exhilarating, and terrifying experience. I have a healthy respect for hell. A healthy respect for hell. And a deep, profound love <clears throat> that I didn't know before of God. Knowing God is real is very different from thinking he's real, believing he's real. I know it. My father, in the limited time he had here, he had a profound spiritual experience as well that he's still processing. We went out to lunch on a Sunday. Amazing lunch. Great buffet, Mediterranean, delicious place. I love it. I think it's the best food in Dallas, if you ask me. My mother, having that lunch, we ate fine. Everything was good. We were just laughing and joking. I'm sitting across the table. He's over there. My father's pops is over there. He's next to my mother, and she's next to a glass window right here on her side. She kind of lays back, and uh, I'm looking at her like, what are you doing? <laughs> you looking super relaxed to be here in public. My pops looks over at her to the right, and Chuckles like, honey, you really feeling that fool? Then to me, within a few seconds, it became obvious that something was wrong. My mother seemed to fall into a trance, a beautiful trance. There was a smile on her face. At first it was a smile that quickly turned into just like a numb feeling. But there was certainly a smile there at one point. And I run around the table and I try to wake her up. She wouldn't wake. And you know, there was something in me that said, don't be afraid. I knew she wasn't going to die, but my mother's a 40 year medical professional and is the kind of woman, kind of person, if something's wrong with her, she'll let you know ASAP. <laughs> you don't have to guess. 